should be a little bit of a party of the stands, I feel like. It's a truly special event in our sport. Fight the team! Fight each other time! As your attention! One, two, three, four, five! You know, I think it's the best lacrosse game in the world, really. Don't give me shit, coach. Oh yeah, you're threatening me? Tonight, live from Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado, it's the Denver Outlaws hosting their annual 4th of July game. Tonight's going to be a special game. It's an exciting event. Everyone's really looking forward to it. It's a, a national holiday here in the States, and the guys take a lot of pride in that. I think a lot of us don't really have that luxury of being in front of tens of thousands of fans for one game, so I think uh, it's going to feel good. It's just going to be uh, alive and loud, and the play on the field by both teams will reflect that. It's another opportunity for our players to just be in the community and see a lot of those young youth players that are excited and have a passion for it, and that's the same thing that our guys have. It is a great passion for the game, and you know, just the type of community that it brings on this 4th of July day is pretty special. Let's go. It's been a while. All right, let's not have any rust. Let's knock it all out tonight. Make sure we're all on the same page. A lot of communication, a lot of focus. All right, we got a big, large group here, so let's not be afraid to get up and down. Laws on three, one, two, three. Oh. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. So the way we prepared for this game is having just played. We did a, a cryotherapy session get them a little bit rested up, get them hydrated for this 4th of July game, and then really just putting in that game plan throughout the practice today. For some reason, the road team doubleheader plays really, really well. Can't expect, oh, they're gonna be gassed, they're gonna be ticked off, they're gonna be tired. They're gonna come after us. So let's put the fireworks on them before they have to sit and watch them. Woo. All right, Woo. let's get off to a great start. Woo. Still, even at this point, all the lacrosse games I've played, before games, I get that little nervous energy or the butterflies, and I try not to think about them too much. The nervous energy that you get before a game is just, it's something that's important to have because it's the reason you still, you still play this game. Uh, you yeah, know, we talked a lot about these guys defensively, move the ball, hide and low on this goalie. On offense, we gotta move off ball, we gotta handle the tough passes. And at the end of the day, man, we gotta be the best team in the stadium today. And that's it. Just the best team in the stadium in a great venue, man. Let's go after this thing, let's compete on each other. Start to finish. No breaks tonight. Let's get after it. Great great energy. It's not gonna go our way every single play. The key is when they go on runs, we make stops, we get our runs of our own. Let's, let's do it tonight. Let's support each other. Let's have some fun. Let's get a win. Boom squad on three. One, two, three, boom squad. Running out onto the field in front of all those people. It's a truly special event in our sport. I think it's the event to be at in Denver, and you know, I think it's the best lacrosse game in the world, really. No matter what sport you're playing in or how many people you play in front of, to hear 30,000 people screaming is eye-opening and it can be pretty nerve-wracking. The transition from NLL to MLL, it's not easy. You're banged up from playoffs, from playing a long season. So it's taxing going from one to the other, but I'd rather be playing the cross than sitting on the couch. Shot score! A bullet by Zach Courier. Hey, we're gonna do our job. Exactly how we drew it up. Nice. You know, we've won now five games in a row, and we don't really focus on what the other teams are doing. We focus on ourselves. Good defense by the Cannons. Shot score! We're all just trying to share the ball as much as possible, and any given night, someone is gonna have a great game. Zach Courier, his second goal of the game. Oh, relax, 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 relax. We're good, we're good. Yes, let's go, let's get on, let's get on, let's get on, let's get on. Let's get on.
Hands, hands. Get through again. Jack, you can jump it. Communication is huge being a goalie. People like to compare it to the quarterback of the defense. Oh, oh. Watch out, watch out. Brock, you got point here. Stay, Zach, now stay, stay. Great defense, boys. West Bird. See ya. Go on, go on. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go, what's up there? Talking trash as a goalie is pretty difficult. Yeah. That was unlucky, it hit me when in. You can talk all night and then an attackman gets a goal. Um, and they, they've kind of won that, that battle, but uh, you know, you hear some trash talking. What can we do? You suck. Hey, he wants to say it to me when he scores one. I'll go back to him when I'm saying one. First through a Boston double team. He's got a shoot score. Yeah. As a great shoot, I'm going to take it, though. Yeah, I just have to take it. I'm a great shoot. I'm a great shoot. When the power play's hot, she's hot, though. Longer possessions here, fellas, all right? Let's get after it in the second half. Chip away at it, just like Brody said. We don't have to win the game in the first five minutes there. Chip away at this, fellas. It's a, it's a game of runs. We're in a good spot. Let's go here, all right? Keep yeah. energy up a little bit. It's Fourth of July. Let's have some fun win this game. Let's go. Hey, We're going to commit your heart, boys. We're going to commit your heart. You got to be ready. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Playing against the Boston Cannons, they've got some pretty big names on that team. Perkovic is, is a really big guy. He's hard to cover. A great two-point shot. He has that range, so he puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Shot score! Sergio Perkovic still a man. Big boy play. He needed that right there. We got to clean it up up there. Let's go! They've got Trevor Baptiste at the faceoff X, so that's definitely something that's on our radar. It's a position of technique and tenacity. You're going head to head and you're battling for something, so it's pretty intense. It's really physical. Body that! Oh. It's a lot of fun. And we got both teams coming together in a pit. And we got some uh, tempers flaring now. Hell yeah, let's go! Pass, pass, goal! Beautiful! Let's go, get organized here on O. Let's go! Score! We're gonna have two penalties against Boston. You better tell him to get a hold of his guys or we're gonna score a fing hundred on him. We'll score a hundred! Don't give me Chief! Don't give me coach! Oh yeah, you threatening me? Oh, Courier. The degree of difficulty of that is a pen, and he made it look easy. Big crowd here, they roar their appreciation for the Outlaws. Hey, I'm Jack. Play a battle, dude. Obviously, we get after each other on the field, but there's like mutual respect for all the cross players. You know, after the game, everyone's like all oh, buddy buddy, and it doesn't matter what team you're on. And now we get ready for the big uh, fireworks, although I don't know if the actual fireworks display will be able to match what the Outlaws just did here. <laughs> 